a woman is cleaning her house. She starts to complain about it and tells herself that her mother always said that she should have married a rich man. She says that she ended up with that terrible fate for not listening to her. She says that she really had enough of it. A man approaches, looking really upset. The woman asks what's going on. Don Ramon, the landlord, says that they're owing him three months of rent. The woman tells him that her husband is going to pay him as soon as possible. Don Ramon says that her husband is too broke to pay him. The wife says that her husband is about to arrive and assures the landlord that he's going to pay everything they owe him. Ramon says that perhaps they can reach an agreement, and he starts to look at the woman's body. Scared, the woman asks what he means. Ramon says that she knows exactly what he means. The woman says that she understands and that she will make it a bit spicier. She tries to leave the door, but her partner bumps into her. He asks where she's going. His wife tells him to get in. As her partner goes inside, the woman thanks him for arriving at the right time. Her husband asks what's going on. Ramon, the landlord, gets bored and decides to call Mariana and ask why she's taking so long. Mariana's husband asks Ramon what he's doing there. Ramon says that he's there to get the money he's owed him. The man says that he's going to pay him as soon as he gets paid. Ramon says that it's fine and that he's going to return soon to get it. He leaves. The husband says that he's really embarrassed and promises to do the best he can to pay Mr. Ramon. His wife says that they need to sort it out very soon because she hates the fact that Ramon is coming to their house every day to get his payment. And even worse, due to the fact that she's alone in there. Her partner says that he's going to double his working hours so he can pay it as quickly as possible. He says that that's why he can't stay with her. Ramon, the cheeky landlord, hears their conversation. The woman says that she's not a big fan of being alone all that time, but they need the money, so she understands. She tells her partner that he must be really tired and invites him to the kitchen so she can cook something for him and take a rest afterwards. Days later, the man is working very hard to pay his rent. A woman watches him do his trade. After observing him for a bit, she invites the young worker to her room. Andre, the young man, tells his boss that he's going. Moments later, he approaches her room. The boss asks him to stop being shy and have a seat. Andre prefers to remain standing, and his boss asks how it's going. Andre says that everything's fine. His boss asks when he's going to start double shifting. Andre says that he's ready to start it that day. His boss says that it sounds perfect to her. She tells him that he can leave and says that she will call him again very soon. Andre, perplexed, leaves without saying a word. The boss continues to fantasize. Hours later, in the opposite part of the town, Ramon knocks on the woman's door once again. She asks what he needs. The landlord says that he's there to get what he deserves because last time he was interrupted. He then goes inside without asking. The woman says that it's not a good moment to do that. Ramon asks why. The woman says that he's going shopping. Ramon says that he doesn't believe her. He says that she doesn't need to because they can have much more fun together and then hang out later. The woman says that it's fine, but before they start, she needs to put on something more suitable. She walks to her bedroom. She then decides to call her husband.
he picks it up. She says that she has an emergency. Andre asks what's the problem. She says that she has not had time to explain and tells him to hurry up and go home. Her partner says that he can't because he's just started double shifting. His partner says that she never annoys him with anything, but she really needs him to go home. Her husband asked her to explain what her matter was first. The woman says that Mr. Ramon is sexually harassing her and that it's disgusting. She says that she can't find a way out. Andre says that he can't believe Ramon would do something like that. He asks if she's really sure about it. The woman says that she's 100% sure and tells him to hurry up because she will try to find a way to distract him. Andre says that he will try to go and hang it up. Minutes later, he approaches his boss and says that he needs an urgent favor to ask. His boss asks what's going on. Andre says that he has an emergency to take care of at home. His boss says that she thought he was starting his double shift. Andre says that it's quite worrying that this happened to his wife. His boss says that she understands it and that he can have one hour. Andre says that he lives very far from there. The boss says that in that case, she can give him a lift. Andre asks if she's sure it's okay. The boss says that it's fine and invites him to follow her. Mariana. Meanwhile, Ramon starts to feel impatient to the point of undoing the buttons on his shirt. Mariana approaches him, now wearing a skirt. Ramon draws closer and tries to show what he believes to be charming. Mariana tells him to go slow because she wants to try something more kinky. Ramon says that he loves the idea. Minutes later, Mariana blindfolds the perverted landlord and says that it looks great. Suddenly, her husband arrives, accompanied by his boss. Confused, he asks what's going on. His wife explains that it's exactly what she told him on the phone. She says that Ramon was trying to abuse her, so she decided to distract him a bit. Ramon asks what she means. Mariana spots her partner's boss and asks who's the bird. Andre says that it's his boss, but it doesn't matter in a moment like that. He then starts to confront Ramon about his sexual harassment. Ramon denies everything and accuses Mariana. Mariana says that Ramon is fibbing. Andre's boss decides to taunt him, saying that it sounds a bit fishy to her. Mariana tells her to shut her mouth and keep her snot out of it. Andre asks his boss to wait for him in the car so he can sort it out. His boss leaves the house. Ramon says that he's leaving as well and that they can sort it out themselves. Andre stops him and says that he's not going anywhere. Mariana tells her husband that she needs to believe her because Ramon was annoying her every single day, claiming that he was trying to get his payment. Andre says that he believes her. He tries to punch the landlord, but he runs away. Andre tries to chase him, but his wife says that it's not worth it. She hugs him and thanks him for protecting her. Months later, Andre arrives from work holding some flowers. He calls his wife and says that they're celebrating something really special. Mariana asks, what is it? He says that he would like to announce that the days of paying rent are over because they now have their own house. Mariana asks if he's joking or something. Andre says that he's dead serious. He says that his hard work finally paid off, and they finally reached their dream of buying their own house. Filled with jealousy, Mariana asks why he doesn't find a better job if they're in better financial condition now. Andre asks why his current job was what made it possible for him to buy the house. He says that his boss even raised his salary, so he doesn't have to double shift. Mariana says that it's fine, but she really doesn't like his boss. Andre says that he understands what she means, but he's really loyal to her and that he doesn't fall into his boss's temptations. He then invites his wife to follow him to their new gaff. Days later, at work, Andre's boss calls him once again to her office. There, she asks how he is doing and everything. Andre says that he's doing great and that he finally got rid of having to pay rent, and it was a massive life change for him and his wife. Upset, his boss asks what he means by his wife. She says that she can't believe he's still with her after what she did to him. Andre says that, of course. He says that she explained everything to him. His boss gets up and says that she believes his wife is lying to him. She says that she personally believes that his wife is not enough for a man like him. Andre asks what she's talking about. His boss draws closer and tries to make a pass at him. She puts her hands on his shoulders and says that she knows he's a very hard-working man. She says that she's sure his wife doesn't please him enough and that a woman like her would do a much better job. Suddenly, his wife approaches, carrying a bin bag. 
She enters the building and gets a nasty surprise. She asks what that is supposed to mean. Andre says that it's not what it seems. His wife says that he doesn't believe him and she walks away. Andre chases her. He stops her and tries to explain what happened. He says that it was his boss who tried to take advantage of him and that he's really sorry about it. His partner says that she said that his boss was a wrong one. He says that he can find another job, just like she recommended him to. His partner asks if he would really quit such a good job because of her. Andre says that, of course, he would, because money isn't everything because he has the woman he loves with him. He says that they will bounce back from it anyway. They hug each other. In the realms of power, the rotten silence is hidden. Sexual harassment, a poison that corrupts souls and shatters dignity, but real love is the only glimpse of hope capable of getting through the walls and healing the scars.